Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dustin and I have just recently got into the aquascaping hobby and uh, this would be my first official tank that I have done. It took, it's only 10 gallon but it did take quite some time for the whole cycling process and then getting fish in there. Uh, it's kind of a jambalaya fish here but um, if I mispronounce a plant it is because uh, they are weird to me and hard to say but I believe that this is some puntagen that I had grown from a little bulb there is some hornwort they like to eat it but you'll see like the bare ones where they've like nibbled it down to nothing but they don't touch the anubias which is growing on on the top of this driftwood which I attached with some glue um, I know it's only a 10 gallon, but I did a lot of research and there is a 100 watt in there. And that is because I want it to last quite some time um, and not have to be on constantly. Um, uh, some kind of aquatic grass I've got growing in a few places. Uh, some java fern I got there between some um, uh, dragon stone. And then, as you can see, up top... Uh, the frog bit and dwarf water lettuce has just gone insane. Now, I know a lot of you DIY guys, and I learned from you. Um, this is a hang-on-the-back filter, but there is no carbon in it. I go out and I buy rolls of fiber media myself and put it in there, and you just simply rinse it off in dechlorinated water and put it back in. Basically, you don't ever have to do anything, so no carbon whatsoever. Um, I... Do water changes a couple times a week, but not very much. It's mostly just topping it off because there is no lid. And I do know fish like to jump, but I don't like lids. So that is why I allowed this plague of water lettuce and frog bed to just take over. So there's not really much room for them to consider taking a leap out of here. Um, anyway, uh, there's a cobra molly there. And one random snail, I'm assuming it snuck in on one of these plants. And then uh, another guppy, platy. And then the black one, that is a, um, that was a mixture between a female molly and the male guppy, that yellow one there. Um, and they, she had a lot of offspring. She ate most of them and then died during the pregnancy. Anyway, two of the fry live and they're not really fry anymore. I don't think they're going to change any more colors. They kind of don't look like a molly nor a guppy. But uh, anyway, this is my first video. Um, kind of hard to read the temp here, but yeah, I keep two thermometers. In case the electric, to one, electric one goes out, um, you know, I can still tell what the temp is, which is about 78 degrees um, constantly. Um, I stopped using the bubbler. I'm getting enough surface tension from the hang on the back filter, which I know they cost more, but they don't take up any room and you do not have to put them inside your tank. Uh, as you can see, this, this uh, little bio sponge can fit over that, but I'm not in jeopardy of having any fry right now. I just keep it in there to collect the um, beneficial bacteria. The substrate is fluval. Um, and I'll give you one last look over here. Uh, the, the reason I stopped using the bubbler was for several reasons. One, it was causing so much surface tension that it was actually killing off um, my healthy frog bit and water lettuce. I don't not I don't know why or how. I just know that by splashing water all over the top of it constantly was killing it. So and the light is a nobody's paid me to mention this, but I'm using a Hyger light which is working phenomenally. The grass the little grass piles were actually like nothing. They were just stems. It within like a week they just started growing like crazy. But yeah you can see the bare hornwort where they've i don't mind if they nibble it down it caught, i mean locally i can buy a hornwort here for like a dollar for a handful of this stuff so you know and they're omnivores they want to eat some of it fine but they don't mess with the java fern they don't mess with the uh apuntogen they don't mess with the anubias 
and they don't mess with the grass. So the hornwort I don't really care about, and it grows back anyway. As you can see, they nibble it down to nothing, and then it just starts growing more. It, um, it's, you know, like they said. Anyway, so that's my video. I'm Dustin, and thank you for watching.